Happy Tales, Bluebeard. I do wish the fairy godmother would come soon. I would love to hear a nice and exciting story. Your wish is fulfilled. Today I'll tell you the story of Bluebeard. Once upon a time, there lived a lord named Bluebeard. Sadly, all his wives had died, so the noble lord would get married again. Nobody found this strange, nor did the sweet and beautiful young girl Bluebeard took as a new wife. A month later, Bluebeard said to his wife, "I must leave for a few weeks," and handed her a bunch of keys, but warned her not to open the little room at the end of the corridor. "Don't worry, I won't," said Bluebeard's wife. The days went by. The young girl went around all the rooms except the one at the end of the corridor. One day, bursting with curiosity, she opened the door and walked into the little room. Inside were the bodies of all of Bluebeard's former wives. Terror-stricken, the girl ran out of the room, but the bunch of keys slipped from her grasp. She picked them up and noticed that the key to the little room was stained with blood. But try as she would, the blood stain wouldn't wash away. Bluebeard soon came home and asked for his keys. When Bluebeard's wife put the keys into his hand, he saw the blood stains. You went into the little room, didn't you? Well, you'll soon go back again for good. He said. Just then, there was a knock at the door, and Anna, Bluebeard's wife's sister, entered the castle. His wife asked for ten minutes with her sister. The girl ran to Anna and asked her if she could see her brothers coming as promised. But Anna replied, "No, I don't see anyone." Just then, Bluebeard bloomed. Wife, your time is up. Come here. I'm coming. She called and again asked her sister, "Aren't our brothers coming?" "No," replied Anna. Again, Bluebeard shouted, "Come down at once, or I'll come up." Trembling, his wife went downstairs. Bluebeard was clutching a big knife. Just then, Anna called out, "Sister, I could see two horsemen coming." Bluebeard said. They too will die. But as he was about to bring the knife down on the girl, two young men burst into the room. They were her brothers, drawing their swords. They leaped towards Bluebeard. Needless to say, the young lady was never curious again. Oh, that was exciting, wasn't it? I'm so glad the young lady was saved. True. Anyway, I'm glad you liked the story. Until next time.